people are asking me in sales and especially sales managers, how do you move things through the funnel? Why are things getting stuck in terms of the sales funnel? You know, things aren't moving fast enough or a better velocity or things are just stuck and I don't know why. Really what we have to do is go back to some fundamentals. And one of the things I'd remind you of is the top five reasons why people don't buy. And those top five reasons are this. Firstly, there's no trust. Secondly, they can't see how it will help them. Thirdly, they don't see a need for it. They don't see a need for whatever you're offering. Fourthly, they don't see how it can help them right now. In other words, they get it, they understand it, they may even trust you, but they're looking to do it next year. They're looking to do it sometime in the future. And the last one is, they trust you, they see the need, they see how it can help them, they don't love to do it now, they just don't have the money. They're the top five. But what you have to be very wary of is that many clients, many prospects will roll out. I can't see how it helps me. I don't have a need for it. I don't have the budget for it. Or not right now, as excuses when you haven't built trust. And trust comes in two forms, intelligent trust and emotional trust. Most things today we focus on emotional trust. And emotional trust is hard to win, but intelligent trust is a lot easier. In other words, do you have credibility? Do you have confidence in the area? Have you showcased that already? So they're kind of the five main reasons, and there are many things outside of that for you to test and see where you are. And one of the things I often see with salespeople is they think they're further down the sales cycle than the prospect or customer is in the buying cycle. In other words, we're misaligned. We think we're down here, the customer is still in status quo or still working out what is this all about. We have to have alignment between the buying and selling process. So again, oftentimes we're a little ambitious in that area. We get a bit excited. We have the happy years on. Everything's good news. And especially if you work for a great brand. If you work for a great brand, it's actually not that hard to get that first phone call or that first meeting. That doesn't mean they want to buy from you. They just know you've got an interesting brand and they want to listen to what you've got to say. Call it an IP brain suck if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. You've made a connection, but you may well have misinterpreted their interest or their real desires when in fact they're just interested to chat to you and learn about the market. So remember the five, no trust, no need, no help, no hurry, or no money. Maybe one of those five, maybe two of those is what's holding you back or the reason that you're actually stuck in the funnel. Or maybe you're not so much stuck as the client's not actually moving with you and you're moving, but they're not. Have a look back at your funnel, look at your funnel shape and try and work out which is the stage that I'm actually getting most stuck in. Let me come back to you in a couple more videos on this one where we're going to explore this whole area.